cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death worldwide. Data shows that around 18 million people die every year due to heart attacks, heart failure, and other heart-related conditions. Heart attacks occur when blood suddenly fails to reach the heart, causing damage to the heart muscles. Men are more vulnerable to heart attacks than women because estrogen, a major female hormone, has a protective effect on the cardiovascular system. This means that men become a part of the risk group at the age of 45, while women are more at risk after age 55. Heart attacks can usually be recognized by several symptoms. Chest pain, including a feeling of tightness and squeezing, is reported by most patients. This pain can extend to other body parts, like the arms, jaw, neck, and abdomen. A person experiencing a heart attack might feel dizzy or lightheaded. They might also sweat or become breathless. Medical experts warn that some people experience anxiety-induced panic attacks that are mistaken for heart attacks because both panic attacks and heart attacks can occur during or after a stressful situation. When the blood stops flowing into the heart, its tissues start dying. Eventually, the heart stops beating, leading to what is called cardiac arrest. Heart attacks are usually caused by coronary heart diseases. In most cases, cholesterol plaques burst open, blocking the artery and the blood flow. In general, cholesterol is found in all our cells. However, excessive cholesterol from unhealthy habits leads to serious complications. Cholesterol is usually carried by a hybrid of a protein and a lipid. This high-density lipoprotein, or HDL for short, transports cholesterol to the liver where it is removed. But the bad, low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, causes plaque buildup and raises the risk of a heart attack. Bad LDL levels increase when we eat unhealthily, and smoking lowers good HDL levels. Cholesterol is not the only culprit. Heart attacks can have other causes. Drugs like cocaine, methamphetamines, and amphetamines narrow the arteries and make them more likely to clog. On the other hand, if there isn't enough oxygen in the blood, the heart's muscles will weaken, eventually causing a heart attack. This condition is usually referred to as carbon monoxide poisoning. But what can be done in the case of a sudden heart attack? During a heart attack, time is very important. Immediate medical help usually includes manual chest compressions or a defibrillator in case the patient stops breathing. After a heart attack, the patient is usually treated with antiplatelets. These are drugs that stop blood cells from sticking together and forming a blood clot. Beta blockers are also used to reduce blood pressure. So, how can you avoid a heart attack? Remember, an ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. As is the case with many diseases, a healthy lifestyle will lower the risk of having a heart attack. Doctors and health professionals recommend staying active, learning how to manage stress, and maintaining a healthy weight. When it comes to dietary habits, trans fats, sodium-rich foods, and alcohol should be limited. Most cardiovascular diseases can be prevented by addressing behavioral risk factors such as tobacco use, unhealthy diets and obesity, and physical inactivity. It is crucial to keep your health in check, especially your blood sugar and blood pressure. Make it a point to have regular visits with your doctor so you can stay up to date on your levels, especially when you're experiencing a lot of stress. Remember, when it comes to your heart, you can never be too careful.